there's one all right first one of the morning a little top water walk in action i'll take that feels like a decent fish little dude well you felt bigger little guy i just saw something out there pop out a little bit deeper schooling huh all right not a monster that puts me on the board it's funny he's warmer than the air out here all right thanks for eating little guy Let's see if we can find some more go oh yeah yeah there's a piece of fish right here all right well i was just fishing look who showed up Hello. was it is that first cast no oh okay like second or third was not first cast? No. The old Dizzle found one. He's not even he's not even hooked up on the old GoPro yet. That's good fish, a little pound and a halfer. Surprising, surprising. On the old wacky. It's actually pretty warm. Yeah, I know. It's it's like that's because it's four yeah. what forty five out. Yeah, the it's, water's. It's warm. He's warmer than it is outside. I know. We're gonna have to get him strapped with the uh, with the old GoPro. Actually, let's do that now. What's happening, fish and friends? Welcome to another episode out this morning with the Dizzle. Hiya. He's eating some breakfast quick. I already ate. Um, I've already been fishing a little bit. Caught one on top water. Uh, Dizzle got here. He's already caught one on the uh, the wacky rig. Wacky rig, yeah. I like it. We might we might have some luck. I've seen a few fish blowing up. It's cold out. It was like what 45 driving here. Yeah, definitely chilly. Uh, I was not prepared. I did bring a sweatshirt. That's a positive. But uh, yeah, shorts not the best idea. Shorts. This guy in his shorts. I got pants on. Hopefully we're going to have some uh, some more fish biting. So enough talking. Let's get to fishing. Bobber Brigade, Bobber Brigade, here we go, Bobber Brigade. That's usually pretty hot out here. That's why I was saying that other side, all that wood, there's usually fish hiding in that. You're, if you don't keep it up, you're going to be hiding in there. Damn it! You're all tactical up with your stuff on your belt there, huh? Just got my pliers and my line cutter. Don't be a bully about it. What was it? Do, 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 do. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Little guy. Little guy. Thanks, buddy. I that was aggressively violent on my behalf right there. I watched my line go right over that. I think if I get not those snagged, come on. Well, this is fun. Dude, I almost have it. Like seriously, this is a good, 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 good one right here. <laughs> oh, ye who give up too easily. Thanks, dude. There you go. Whoa, oh, careful. You got your six cents back though. Yeah, I just lost a $9 six cents crank there. Well, I didn't see where that one went. I can't get that one back for you. All right, let's start with the Nico rig. Randy rigged up a, a Nico rig too. He's gonna fish his on straight braid. I'm fishing mine braid to a leader. We're gonna see if these fish are eating Nico rigs. Who gets more bites? I don't know. So far, uh, so far the bite has been awful today. One topwater fish early in the morning, and I haven't had a single fish since. In case they run cars in here, bumper cars. Were you a bumper cars fan? Huh? What's that, buddy? Were you a bumper cars fan? I mean, for as fun as it is, 
There's one. There's one on the old Nico rig. Cold, cold. All right, there we go. One on the Nico rig for me, and he's just a little dude. Cold, cold little dude. Thanks for eating, fella. All right, well, we'll see how this challenge goes. That's that's one on the uh, on the leader. Randy's running no leader, straight braid. We're gonna see if it makes a difference. Straight, yeah, straight blue braid. Let's uh, let's try throwing by the dock. We got some rocks and such here. Little dock coverage, little rock coverage. There's one. Little dude. Little, little dude. But that's another fish on the old Nico rig. All right, there we go. Second one on the Nico rig. It is a dink fest. I'm sorry, folks. Sometimes it happens. Thanks for playing. Did you put pike spray on this lure? So it smells like pike, so all the bass are scared of it? There's another one on the Nico. That's a decent fish. Best one for me today. Ah! Oh. Same darn size. Slow. Slow has been the deal here, I guess. All right. Well, another dink on the Nico. Guess you'd call it the Dinko rig. There we go. Another one. Bye, fish. Well, I don't know if it's a sign that's what three to nothing. I've caught three on it. No. I've caught three on the Nico rig. Since when? Two. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh! That was a fish. My rod went slack and I'm like, that can't be a fish. Oh! <laughs> what? Oh, it how did it rip the plastic? It literally, off? it literally ripped the plastic out of there. It saved your O-ring. So it saved, saved the O-ring somehow, and it literally ripped the soft plastic out of the O-ring. All right, so for those of you that have never seen the uh, the Nico rig get put together, it's nothing more than a weight. I've got these little mushroom-style pokey weight things. Push it in the, uh, the nose of the bait like so. Using the little wacky tool here. Slide your O-ring on about a third of the way up the bait. These are some kind of small baits. These are four and a half inch. About a third of the way up there like that. And then you take your hook point, make sure the hook point is pointed up away from the weight. So when it sits on the bottom, it's like that. That's it, that's the Nico rig. Nico's stupid. You bring your jig, we can do Nico versus jig. There we go. Hopefully I'm recording. Uh, that's a decent fish. Pound and a halfer. All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. Nico rig strikes again. Chunky little pound and a halfer there. We'll take him. Ah, it's caught on my finger. All right, there we go. Uh, he might not be pound and a half, pound and a quarter maybe. That's all right. It's a fish and man, he is active. All right, dude. Thanks for eating the Nico rig. Look at him. He's ready to go. Get out of here. Off. Every single bite that I've had, minus that one, has been right, right on the edge of the rocks, up super shallow. All the bites I missed this morning on the underspin, super shallow. We'll see, can we find any more with the old Nico rig? Randy broke off, he's not fishing the Nico anymore, but I don't know, I mean, does it matter? Does the, has the leader made the difference? Is it the location? Is it the way you bounce it? I don't know. Oh, look what I found! Look, look what I found! Hey, I found I found a Nico rig just like I'm fishing. Oh, Randy's rig washed up. All right, well look at that. I uh, I saw a blue line floating. Randy just broke off. It's Randy's rig. Look at that. Exact same thing. Got that one. All right, well, Nico saving the day here. Just missed a better one too, darn it. 
All right, another fish on the day. Still no giants. We're Debo dinking it up. That's okay. Beats sitting at home, not catching any fish at all. Thank you, sir, for eating. Go back. Hey, just leave them on the ground there. There's one. Another one on the old Nico rig. All right, there we go. Another little dude on the Nico rig, pitching at the front of some reeds. Sit. Go. Huh? Did you throw out the reeds or the wood? I threw at the reeds. No, you would, me reeds. Oh. There's one. Looky there. That little dink like the Nico. Well, the Nico rig's been the only thing for me consistently getting bit. Another little guy, man. This lake is full of the dinks, but it's better than not catching any fish at all. Thank you, Mr. Dink. We appreciate you appearing on the show. <laughs> oh, look at that. Little green sunfish. Now look, you done threw yourself in a hole. No, Mr. Green Sunfish, don't do it. Oh, gosh, it's a pile of ants. <laughs> oh, there it is. One very hungry little green sunfish. Yes, I'll save you. Go. I'm just watching somebody that can fish. You just caught a fish. Uh, charity fish. All right, fishing friends, just got home off the water. Tell you what, it was a grind of a day, but a slow day of fishing still beats a whole lot of other things in life. And you know what else I thought about? If I happened to be a superhero who charged up by catching dinks, Superman wouldn't have anything on me. Yeah, it was a day of catching dinks, but it was nice because I got to work a rig that I don't put a ton of time in with, and that's the Nico rig. And the Nico rig is a pretty simple uh, setup. Let me show you. It consists of nothing more than a soft plastic. This is a missile baits. I forget what they call it. Quiver? Four and a half inch quiver shake, something like that. Uh, you all see me unbox these a, a while back. It's got kind of a, a spade shaped tail. But that soft plastic, it's got a little weight in the nose of it, and then an O-ring, and then the hook. That's a, a size one Nico hook. And I was fishing that on the medium power. That's that old 13 fishing fate rod that I have. And then the uh, the Lose Mach 2. Yeah, the Mach 2 spinning reel. So far, it's been a good spinning reel. The rod, you know, I've had no complaints for it. Got that on sale for 49 bucks. It's held up strong. 15 pound braid, and then I ran that to a, a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader there. And that brings up a good topic for discussion. Straight braid or braid to a leader. Now, uh, Randizzle didn't catch any when he was fishing the straight braid on the Nico rig. Uh, it was funny because I did end up catching his lure that he lost, so I got it back. But he didn't catch any fish. All my fish were on that Nico rig braid to leader the whole time. So I know that's something I brought up before. Maybe I need to do a whole video on that. Does line color matter? Braid versus fluorocarbon. I personally think it does. So comment below, let me know, do you want to see some more finesse fishing? I've had a number of people ask to see the Nico rig and me fish it. Uh, it's been fun. Like I said, it's something I don't put a ton of time in with. So comment below, let me know if there's a certain technique you want to see me fish more. But today's subscribe fishing friend is Nathan Cross. Nathan, thank you for always watching and commenting. And thank you everybody else out there for continuing to watch and support. It means a lot to me. But I got to get the rest of this boat packed for tomorrow. So uh, thank you all for watching. And until next time. Did I just hit puberty over again? Until next time.